Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Right now there are a lot of emotions being stirred uh, concerning the shooting of a Tatiana Jefferson in her home by um, officers who were there for a wellness check. There are a lot of emotions. Uh, right now the country is on edge. Um, especially those of the black community, those in the faith community, just everyone's on edge right now because this and so many other cases like this have touched our core because there seems to be an all-out um, attack on our people. Now, what I'm going to be talking about in this video is a show host that, um, when speaking about this incident, she literally broke down crying right there on camera. Like watching this young girl, she's a grad student, an eight-year-old. I know. The, 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 I know. The, and I, I'm, I'm, I do know. we have any tissues up here? That, and I know how you feel right now because honestly, I'm all, I'm 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 angered right now. And I know Al, you're our voice of reason, and so I'm not going to come off. I, I'm not going to come off. And that's to be expected when you are part of the community of a Tatiana Jefferson. This show host, she responded the way many of us respond because we love our people. Okay. And this woman, she she kind of got a little backlash from some of her co-hosts. Now, there's two black men that are co-hosts with her on this particular show. And then there's a white female. Now, the white female made it um, very obvious that she wanted to redirect back to uh, why uh, this black woman was crying about this incident. She said, um, you're, you're feeling something right now. Explain to us what you're feeling. Okay, this is after the crying. And she said it, at, I mean, this is what you do for ratings. You want to talk about something that is out of the ordinary on a show, right? And so she basically redirected back to the black woman to give her a chance to explain what she was feeling and why was she crying. And what I noted in that is that there is a sensitivity with the black woman to uh, the fate of a Tatiana Jefferson and... Uh, the position that our people are in in this country. There's a sensitivity there. There's a concern there. But for the white woman, she didn't seem the least bit concerned at all. As a matter of fact, one of her questions was, um, it kind of makes you not want to call the police, huh? Not for her, but for us. See, you can see the confidence in the white woman knowing that she never has to worry about this situation. She never has to worry about what a Tatiana Jefferson had to endure. She never has to. But the black woman, that is a concern of hers. Now, of the two black men, one had a very valid response. Um, his, he, he said, I'm angry, you know. He seemed to understand the response of his fellow co-host, the black woman, right? And he was angry and very embittered by this whole thing. But the other guy, on the other hand, he had a very starchy look on his face, very straight up look, okay? Now, there are some very good things that he said. I'm not knocking um, everything that he said. I mean, he talked about it. He basically said that this is, um, this is basically, um, what was the word he used? This is them having free range to just do whatever they want to do to us. I'm paraphrasing what he said, but he's basically said they just have a license to just take us out. And in, in him saying that, I mean, I can feel those words because that's what it feels like at times when you see people go free for doing these heinous things to us. Like I said in a previous video, Philando Castile, you would think that that was a slam dunk case, but it was not. The officer went free and he should not have gone free. We all saw what happened. And the people or the officers in that region, the system or the law in that region, didn't see that this man's life was unjustly taken away. You see, so again, I understand uh, the starchy looking guy's um, reactions and words, but the way he came at the black woman, I didn't quite understand that and I didn't appreciate it. It was almost as if he's saying, what are you whining for? Get used to it. And he even went on to say, um, just give her a year. He took no sympathy to what she was feeling and why she was feeling that way. And talked about his time there on the show. What he has to understand, first of all, he is a woman. I'm sorry, he is a man. Sorry about that. And she is a woman. Women 
respond differently to these types of things. Now, there are some of our brothers who feel this stuff as well, and there's nothing wrong with crying for your people. Uh, Jeremiah wept for our people. The prophet Jeremiah, you see. So it's nothing wrong with brothers feeling this to the core too. But for him to be, I can understand if he's to the point where he has no more tears. And he's just like, okay, it is what it is. Give her a year, blah, blah, blah. If he's to that point where he can shed no more tears and his face is going to look like that. If I remember, I'll put a link to the video in the description area. But if he's to that point, oh well, so be it. Okay, but don't knock another person because the the raw emotions come through on something such as this a tatiana jefferson was a young woman she was a pre-med student she had her whole life ahead of her she wasn't a thug she wasn't um a perceived threat she was a woman who perceived a threat herself which is why she was seeking to protect herself and her nephew and she lost her life tragically but i wanted to talk about this uh this show and how this black woman, she showed her raw emotions right there. And to have one of her co-hosts to kind of scold her for that, I thought that was in very bad taste. Um, I've had people do that to me as well. I've seen in the comment sections where some things would bring me to tears. Or I would show a certain concern about a certain thing. And some of our people don't understand it. They don't get it. They're like, well, I remember one... Um, incident where the uh, people on the duck boat, um, the woman who lost her whole entire family, her husband, her children, her mother-in-law, her father-in-law, and that thing, that had me so messed up, and especially looking at the woman who survived all of this, and just just not being able to even comprehend what she's going through right now, that just brought me to tears, and I remember someone actually did a video saying what what is the Boreal crying for you you didn't even know those people why are you so concerned about that and this was another black person too so I was saying to myself what is wrong with me showing my concern and what is wrong with you to where you felt the need to to scold me for caring about what my sister is going through this what this woman is going through the devastation of it all some of our people are so cold the scripture says because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold. Many, are, many of our people are so cold, they have totally disconnected themselves from the struggle of our people, and they care not unless trouble comes to their door. Well, anyway, I do realize that everyone is different. I don't expect people to cry because I do. Um, I understand your way is different, but don't scold other people if they decide to cry or if they feel it a little deeper than you do. Okay, we are all different. I'm not going to scold you for not crying, so don't scold me for crying. And this brother who felt the need to scold this woman for crying, don't do that. Let her show her raw emotions for such a tragic thing that happened to our young sister. Okay? All right, family, that is all for now. And with that, I will say shalom. sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.